a team of researchers led by two Memorial University archaeologists, is spending the summer sinking test pits into the ground behind the community of Sheshishi. They're looking for flakes struck from stone weapons and tools, and they're finding lots, including the weapons and tools themselves. In fact, archaeologist Scott Nielsen says they found an entire tool-making industry. The process of making a stone tool is starting out with a chunk like this, knocking a piece off it, which gives you something along this side, which you can shape a little bit. And then as you go through, you knock off the flakes, that which would be similar to these, and you would turn it into a finished a finished artifact like this. So you kind of, we have the site, we have the whole, the whole representation of the manufacturing process from the collection of the raw material to the final production stages. What makes the site especially important, besides the range of materials and workmanship, is the age of the artifacts. With this one in particular, the material, but also the notches on the side and this rounded, the rounded base across the bottom, um, indicate that it's from a time period, or should date to a time period, sometime around 3,000 years ago. The land is still rebounding from the glacier. All this would have been underwater, what we're in right now. 3,000 years ago, this land was underwater, and the waves of Lake Melville lapped far up the hillside. Historians have known that a people now called the Maritime Archaic lived in central Labrador about 6,000 years ago. They say that more recently, in the last 500 years, the Innu made Labrador their home. They say they've never found a connection between them. The way the archaeologists look at it, the ones that aren't Innu, they need to have this time period all going together before they believe that they weren't different people. They think that if these time periods stop, there's a gap in between these Innu people disappeared for some point in time and for some unknown reason, but it just needs to be known that they, they were always here. When the Mun archaeology team finishes testing, it will inform the Sheshishi Band Council about the possible locations of artifact-rich sites in the subdivision area. Based on that information, the Band Council may limit the number of houses to be built, or even completely relocate the construction project. For NTV News, I'm Michael Johansson in Shashashi, Labrador.